I love that man of Galilee, for he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love that man of Galilee. I am in love with that man of Galilee. Today is the end of the year 2023. And you know what? I have danced and danced with a heart beating with exceeding great gratitude. I am quite concerned about how every year will go. As a result, at the beginning of each year, I want to come into communion with the Lord, strategize with the Holy Spirit, and receive of him counsel and wisdom as to what the beginning of the year will be. At the beginning of this year, the Lord told me to share with all the people on the LBC platform and those online on the need to hear the word of Christ. Listen to me carefully. It says that, let me just give you, tell you the reasoning of the Lord, how the Lord reasons. So the Bible says that as many as receive the abundance of grace, they will reign. Then the Bible says that it is of faith that it might be of grace to the end that everyone is guaranteed the promise. In other words, when you receive abundant grace, you will reign. How do you activate grace? It is by faith. It is by faith so that it can be by grace. Faith activates grace. How do we appropriate faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of Christ. So the strategy that God gave to me was that from the very first meeting of 2023, three times a week, I should share Rema de Christus. In other words, I should speak inspired words of Christ to my hearers. And if they do hear the word of, just hearing the word of Christ, three times a week for the entire 52 weeks of the year, it is impossible for them to remain the same. By the end of 2023, they will have recorded so much prosperity, advancement, progress, and victory. And so today, I want to thank God for making it possible for us to share Rema de Christos on our platform three times a week and for the 52 weeks of the year. Father, I am grateful unto you. Church, listen to me. I am a living witness. I have partaken of the pleasures eternal pleasures of God that are at his right hand. And who is at his right hand? Christ. And out of Christ flows the rivers of pleasure for he is the fountain of pleasures. The word of God says in the mountain of the Lord the Lord of hosts will make unto his people, the Bible calls it, a feast of fat things. Listen to me, Chet. I have partaken of the feast 
of fat things that the Lord himself prepared for us. The scripture says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye and buy, eat, yea, come, buy wine, buy milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your effort, your time, your energy, your finances for that which is not bread? Hey, why do you exert your labors for that which does not satisfy? You know what the Bible says? It says, hearken diligently. In, he in um, Hebrew, it says, sama, sama. Church, we understood the strategy. And that the strategy was hearing the word of Christ. Hear what the Bible says in Isaiah 15. It says, hearken diligently unto me. And when you do that, you hearken to the word of Christ. The Bible says, you will eat that which is good. When a man eats that which is good, it is actually good nourishment unto him. It produces life. It says, let your soul intentionally delight itself. In the fatness that I will provide. You know what the Bible promised us? When you hear the word of Christ, you will be guided continually. Your soul will be satisfied in drought, even in famine. And he, God says, I will make your bones fat. <laughs> he says, you will be like a watered garden. A garden that is well watered. Any planting in that garden will do exceedingly well. He says you will be like a spring of water. Spring of water. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose waters fail not. You know what? I can speak like the psalmist. And tell you categorically. That my soul. God has satisfied my soul like he's nourishing me with marrow and with his fatness, with his choices, the blessings. Therefore, my soul praises the Lord with joyful lips. Wow. The Bible says, I, you, will be abundantly satisfied satisfied with the fatness of the house of the Lord the Bible says we will drink of the river of his pleasure I'm a living testimony you know I look back at this year 2023 and I've seen that God has exceedingly blessed me and my family we suffered no loss it was increased on all, all sides our estate increased remarkably our joy gladness our well-being increased I can tell you categorically God preserved me upheld me such that no sickness from January to December. Not even flu, not even Qatar, not even running nose. None. None for a whole year. That's so remarkable to me. That can only be God. There's a lot of flu, there's a lot of sickness, disease. But you know what? The Lord himself has shown that life, eternal life, that proceeds from his son is about sickness and diseases. Church, you know what? I had more than enough rest as far as the business my wife and I do. We had more rest. We are more rested. Do you understand? And because we are more rested, our intimacy, our fellowship was with, with the triangle head was more intimate and more 
productive and more fruitful because you are rested. Do you understand? So I have more. I I, I exerted myself less. I, I I didn't have to put in too much effort as far as the business is concerned. God made it more efficient. Get the rubber under the guitar. God made it more efficient, and so I had more time. I had more peace to interact with my God, to fellowship with Him, to receive downloads from Him, to be blessed in His presence. Hallelujah! So that's how it went. My children were blessed. The family as a whole was blessed. And then, honest speaking, for, for, because this is online, there are certain things I cannot mention. But I can guarantee you, the Bible says, he that is of faith is blessed like believing Abraham. I am seeing the blessings of Abraham finding expression. You know, there are certain things I can't mention. But listen to me. If I tell you that I'm a living witness of the blessings of God, believe me. I also came to realize that the sufficiency of God is real. Not just that. The sufficiency of God it's um you know it's for all things and it for all times in other words god's sufficiency comes out of the riches according to the riches of his glory the lord provides you sufficiency irrespective of drought famine circumstances economy it doesn't matter Le listen to me the sufficiency of god is in accordance with the riches of his glory and it is non-seasonal. It is all through. I experience, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, there are times that there will be a need or maybe a great need of substantial amount of money. And you know what? The money just comes. Or there's one need or the other, God just provides it. There's one problem or the other, God provides his own effortless catarabat solution. Listen to me. Christianity is sweet. If anybody tells you that Christianity is not sweet, he's a liar. If anybody, let, let me tell you, if a Christian has to deceive to succeed, it means it's simply because he has not discovered the grace of God. If a Christian has to cheat, has to cut corners to flourish, it is simply because he has not discovered the unforced rhythm of the grace of God. If a Christian is d d desolate, destitute, deprived, and denied, you know what? You can't blame anybody. It's simply because he has not discovered the rhythm of answered prayers. You know what? Join me to thank God. And I want you to join me in our 2024 journey we are starting that journey with the bond offering you know why you know why i'm saying that it is because the word offering as enumerated or stated in the book of leviticus i checked my concordance today and you know what it means it means to draw near and to get to the um, to as much nearness and intimacy to the one you are worshiping. That's how we're going to start. But I sense it's going to be powerful. Hey, Guriaga Tanga I don't know why I'm so excited. <laughs> you know the Bible says that the hope of the righteous is gladness and so my hope for as the righteousness of God for 2024 is a lot of gladness there's so much gladness in my soul because I know the God with whom we have to do he is a good God Rato Tande Kuteria Rato Kuria you know what the psalmist said I will praise him with joyful lips. Rakataka <laughs> Rakaturuka 
Rutanga Beku to Korea. You know what? I am happy. And you know what? I pray you're also happy. And you know what again? 2024 will be happier. One of the happiest years we have known. Join me on the journey. The Lord has guaranteed to preserve us till the end. Hallelujah. I bless your name, Holy One. I worship you, for you are God by yourself. You are God by yourself. Eight to eight, you're still the same. All creation will shout your name For you are God by yourself Oh God You are God by yourself Oh For who you are I bless your name Oh God For who you are I worship you for you are God by yourself. Oh God, oh God, you're God by yourself. Hey, oh, who you are, oh bless your name. For who you are, I worship you. You are God. Say, Mighty God, say, I bless your name, Holy One, Holy One, I worship I you, worship you. you are God, oh, you are God uh, by yourself. Nobody else like you, none compares to you. You are God by yourself. Lift those hands wherever you are, declare it. A to A, oh Lord. All of creation, all creation, Ascribe greatness to this God.